Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Honest, Jack and still like Jackson. So this one's coming from my little shitty galley kitchen. It's Texas, it's summer, it is very hot. I just walked to the store to get the stuff for this, that's why I'm not wearing my apron. I'm sticky all over because Texas Gulf Coast. This is great, this is one of my favorite things to have. Uh, used to be like go to the mall food court and grab these from the big thing, whatever. But, never made them at home. So this is going to be great, we're going to try a corn dog thing. I don't know why it's a summer thing, why isn't it a winter thing? Like why wouldn't you like a big, I don't know, the hot food on a stick? But, before we get into it, be sure to like, share, subscribe, do all the youtube -y stuff, ring the little bell, get notifications when we do this on Tuesdays and Fridays. You can also find us stumbling into our outro, but <laughs> there's a link down in the doobly-doo for our merch. I'm not going to redo this one. I've already shot it five times. There's a link down in there. We got all our merch stuff. We're a small business. We very much appreciate it. And let's just get into the food before my face runs off. I'm hungry. That's why. All right, it looks like a lot of stuff, but it's just everything comes in these giant bags. So you're going to need some hot dogs. I get the uh, the beef ones, the Angus ones, just because hot dogs are gross. <laughs> but yeah, those those work out really well. You're going to need an egg, just one egg, uh, uh, some flour, some sugar, because America. So yeah, just regular white flour. You're going to want salt and pepper, pepper, pepper salt whatever and uh, a little bit of baking powder the biggest important ingredient here is your cornmeal yellow cornmeal works great uh don't need this much you're only gonna need like a cup of most of this stuff uh you're gonna need some milk i use the whole milk because it's milk and it's the best you can get uh in the stores there you're gonna need some canola oil to fry all this kind of stuff and uh yeah we had to cut over here because there's just so much stuff you're gonna need some kind of skewers i heard some people use uh, cheap chopsticks i got these that are extra uh, thick uh skewers hit <laughs> yeah, use those then other than that you just need what you're gonna dress it like you can just use a yellow mustard classic it's what i really like i like to cut that sometimes with a little bit of horseradish mom just does wholeheartedly with the horseradish for you weirdos that do ketchup at least do the spicy ketchup from whataburger right now hot sauce this curry habanero stuff i picked it up i'm not sponsored but it is absolutely amazing and also my grandfather used to use this the tiger sauce put this on your corn dog man trust me it's good if you're into the spicy stuff okay so to get started we're gonna start skewering our dogs first uh man if my neighbor heard me say that out loud i'm probably gonna be in trouble so yeah our skewers are gonna be a lot longer than our hot dogs here so i just take some scissors and cut them down it feels a little wasteful but i couldn't find any that are shorter mostly you want to uh, stick this all the way through but not out the top of it right you poke it all the way out and then just pull it back just a little bit pull it back there we go I'm going to straighten that out. Do that to the whole pack. Uh, I'm going to give you all the measurements. It's going to be great for an eight pack here. Again, like I said, I went and took some scissors, just kind of scored the end of it and popped off the rest of these. Make sure to have enough to just have a handle while you're A, cooking it, and B, battering it, or battering it, then cooking it. Either way. So cut those down. So we're going to mix our dries first. So get you a big bowl. Get one cup of your cornmeal. One cup of your flour. Just put that right on top of it. Uh, <laughs> you're going to get a tablespoon. You're going to do two tablespoons of sugar because, America, we can't have fried stuff without sugar in it, apparently. Now, uh, your baking soda, you need four tablespoons. Uh, try to get as level as possible. Uh, I, I use this little lip to try to scrape all the extra stuff off and put it in there. But just put all four in there. Uh, I don't know why. And then you get your, uh, your quarter teaspoon here. And just put your salt in there. Just uh, I just have the big Himalaya salt. It doesn't have to be that. It can be any kind of salt. Just just the quarter teaspoon of that and a quarter teaspoon of your pepper right in top. Boop. And then whisk all that together. Uh, baking soda. Baking soda is uh, teaspoons. So yeah, don't do, don't do tablespoons. <laughs> I probably need to cover that back up. But yeah, go ahead and whisk this all back together. That's the uh, yellow sound pretty sure I said teaspoon, but if I didn't, that's what I meant. So, now, in a separate one, go ahead and get your uh, milk, just one cup of milk and one egg, and then you want to whisk this together separately from your dries, okay? So just crack it, be sure to hold one side, or it'll flip all over and you'll have milk and egg running everywhere. Uh, just go ahead and crack it right in there. Looks slightly alien, a little weird. Get you a whisk, you can use a fork anytime I say whisk. Uh, you can always substitute a fork in there. It's just a little smaller, takes a little longer, okay? So you get it nice and blended up, and then just go ahead and you're going to add your wets to your dries. Bleh. Now, you're going to start mixing this together. Uh, again, this is why we try to use a big bowl or something you can kind of get into. Now, this is going to be really thick, okay? Because it's got to stick to a slimy hot dog. So <laughs> just give it a, a nice stir. Try not to stir it. Now, if it's too thick, just start adding it in. Tablespoon at a time, add it in a little more milk, okay? Uh, I didn't have to 
to add any extra. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be enough to make all this, but it turned out really well. Uh, it was really dry, and then I let it sit, and then I came back, and it was really wet. So I, I don't know if it's just Texas humidity. So once you get this nice and uh, battered up, I'm going to set it aside, and I'll show you a trick in a minute. Get you a saucepan or a pot big enough to put your thing in it. I try to put all in it, uh, the corn dog all in it once, so if the sticks are a little long, be careful. Uh, so about half of this, you want to put about an inch of it or so. It's a lot of oil, but you're going to be cooking a lot of this and keeping it turning. So it's not like most of the stuff we fry, we just fry one side and can flip it over. So this, you try to keep it round to keep it rolling. So you want a lot of oil. The recipe goes for like one quart. So that's how much we're using here. Put it on medium, medium high. Wait until it's getting nice and warm. Once it's nice and warm, you can kind of drip some stuff in, figure it out. Now get you a glass, a tall glass. It doesn't have to be bellowed out at the end here. Just whatever can hold a hot dog. Even if it pokes up a little bit, the batter will move. So the trick is, put your batter into the cup and it's going to work. It's going to be really cool. Now watch this. Now, uh, my first and last corn dogs using the cup didn't work out great. I don't know why the first one didn't, but the last one, because uh, it had less batter, it was hard to get it to move up the hot dog. And every time I tried to scrape it, it just pulled it off. So I ended up just laying some down, putting the hot dog on it and laying some more. We'll see that in a minute. But Go ahead and fill this up with your batter, and it's going to work amazing for six out of eight of these. First one's going to be a bit of a tester and look weird, and the last one's just going to be hard to do because the batter's running out. But everything else works great. So you put it in here, make sure it's working right, get you your corn dog stick, and just push it down in there. Mm -hmm. Now, whatever innuendos or horribleness you want to talk about when you're doing this, do that. Uh, but just go ahead and pull this out. If you get it nice and turned around, your oil is nice and heated up. Now, if it's spraying and popping and stuff everywhere, turn the heat down. You just want it to bubble. You don't want it to spatter, okay? So when you pull this out, I found that spinning them helps keeping the batter on. Lay it in as much as you can. Don't worry if it just sits on the edge because it's too wide, as long as you keep turning it. Now, I was using my... Uh, tongs here to try to turn it didn't work great and since it wasn't in the oil and it wasn't spattering i was able to reach down close enough and spin it and make sure that enough oil on it if it comes up a little bald spot don't worry about it that batter will run down in there so after about uh two three minutes in this get it nice and golden brown on either side uh ignore my like i said my first tester one get you some tweezers or a spatula and pull it out now you can do multiples just make sure they don't touch they can cook together uh safer to do one at a time but once your oil is nice and hot just batter them and put them in there as best you can make sure they're turning make sure they get that brown on both sides put them on your secret weapon that plate with a paper towel on it keep them turned like i said gorgeous some of these look almost professional right some of them you can tell i cooked it for the first time at my house but <laughs> the more you practice with it the more it turns out now this is the last one i couldn't get it in there because it was on the side so i poured some in put the corn dog in it and then pour the rest of it on top uh looks grotesque but for people with uh that like more better than uh, the hot dog it's great me and zool split that one but yeah dress it with whatever you like whatever makes you happy i'm never gonna knock what makes you happy as long as you're not trying to make me do it this works great uh for a relatively quick and easy meal if you're gonna go ahead and make that kind of stuff uh meal prep you can reheat this later uh it's, it was enough for eight of these and with that thick batter it's you know just one was enough for me for a meal so this can actually spread pretty far especially put something next to it cook it while the kids are outside playing in the yard playing in the hose or pool or just running around in the heat whatever this is great summer stuff spring stuff uh you got to try this one and there you have it folks a couple of corn dogs look great the other ones are testers or the people that like more batter than dog which is usually me <laughs> if you got another alternate idea on how to do this other than using the cup thing which starts brilliant but gets rough at the end uh let us know put it down in the comments man if you do your corn dogs differently like i'd love to do the the korean corn dogs those are amazing we're gonna try those next time but let us know put it down in the comments that's where they're there for you can also find us on social media let us know over there you can find us on facebook pinterest patreon you can find us at all those at living between paychecks kitchen you can also find us at instagram at living between shortened down and you can find me on all those including twitter and tiktok under osway nerdy yeah that's just not my government name but that's what they call me you can find me on all of those and i'll see you next time i'm gonna go eat some screwy looking corn dogs y'all be safe